What's up guys, Daniel Marquez702 here, continuing my playthrough on Fire Emblem Fates of Birthright for the Nintendo 3DS. And so guys, in the last episode, we did some more support conversations as last time, dude. It was insane. Dude, I mean, most of them were pretty friendly, I guess, because they were starting to really get to know each other, most of the characters. But for the last one we just had with Saizo and Orochi, mmm, boy, that was, mmm, damn, that was heated. Dude, Saizo got completely freaking roasted. And today... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Today is actually Azura's birthday, so let's go and see what she is. Look at this. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm not excited. I'm so relaxed. Even my vocal cords feel nice. This feeling makes me want to sing. Gained a surge of speed and luck. I can't afford to be caught off guard. My weapons and voice are always at the ready. My weapon proficiency improves, or she did. What might this be? I suppose I better take a look. And we got a pine branch. So yeah, today is Azura's birthday, and I didn't even know that myself, I just checked it just, just now. But um, yeah guys, today we're actually going to be going into Paralog 1, as I kind of forgot to do that the last time, or the last few uh, episodes, so that's what we're going to be doing in this episode, and hope you guys are fine with that, because you know, kind of get, kind of got to get that done before we actually prog uh, progress onto Noor, as we're going to be going there soon. But before I actually do that, let me actually show you guys my updated... Castle, Kashi's crib, the updated version. I actually put a hot spring right here and now have a dawn dragon. There's actually a Kashi statue, which is fucking awesome. Um, what else do we have? We, I actually just recently built an arena. Uh, what else is new here? Well, the rod shop's not new, but there are a lot of other new things like what the hell? Well, I did recently put this like Hoshiden template thing on here so that's pretty cool but hopefully oh and I also actually upgraded Lilith's temple so that's pretty cool but now we're gonna be going on to paralog one as that is something we need to do before we progress on to the actual story so we're gonna be going into the small village all right paralog one tragic start oh my god yo is it time right now oh man Grrr. run Mazu please dear run and don't look back Mother, no! Take my hand! We'll run together! Oh, shit! Oh! No, Mother! Oh, shit! What the hell? Did you hear that? Those screams! Something terrible is happening! We've got trouble, alright. The village is under attack by the Faceless. But this place hasn't been ravaged. We're too late. Oh, this has been ravaged. We're too late. No, there must be some survivors. With any luck, some people escaped, but even if there's, uh, but there's even one left here somewhere. Let's get searching, everyone. Oh my lord, what the hell just happened? Dude, these faceless are going in. But, uh, it looks as if we're actually pretty limited on this fight. We can only bring 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, only 8 units this time. Usually we'd be able to bring up, like, 15 or something like that, or 14. But, um, I'm actually going to be deselecting Hana, as she's already... I mean, she's not exactly at promotion level yet, but I think she's pretty close. So what we're going to be doing is actually bringing Kagero. And, um, yeah, so that way we have a ninja on the team. But let's actually take a look at the map and see what exactly we've got here. So I'm going to assume that every unit here is faceless. Yep, everyone here is faceless. So there's not really anything to where it's disadvantages over advantages or anything like that. Or the other way around. But... There is a unit here, Mazu, a villager, so let's go ahead and see what she's all about. Okay. Damn. Ugh. Okay, well, she does not look that very strong, especially that I'm looking at her stats right now on the bottom screen, but that's perfectly okay. She is a, village af a villager, after all, so, I mean, there's nothing we can really help about, about that. So, what we're going to be doing is actually bringing along these units here that I've chosen just now, and um, let's actually go ahead and pair up any other units. So... What we're going to be doing, we're not going to be pairing up Azura with Kashi this time around, because I kind of want Kashi to build relationships with other units as well. So what we'll do is we'll actually pair up um, Sakura and Kashi right now. Seen that, that, that seems pretty good. And let's see, we'll put Rinka there. And let's pair up Felicia and Silas, as they actually did have their C-Rank conversation not too long ago as well. And finally, Hanoka... We'll put her right there. Actually, wait, should I even bring Hanoka, considering that she's already kind of above level 10? Maybe I should give someone else a chance. Chance. So maybe I should actually give Tsubaki another chance, because I didn't really bring him in the past few battles. So I'll probably do that instead. 
And, um, other than that, I think we're pretty much good, guys, so let's do this. M mother My village! They're all dead. I'm alone. Nowhere to go. And those monsters, they're coming back for me. Damn, she's helpless. Alright, well, we already know what we have to do. First of all, we're gonna have Kashe, since he is pretty much the only unit who can really talk to other people. We'll have him going down there, and maybe someone else can help him down there. Oh, I should have moved a little bit above here so that we had Zurika actually sing for him. That's fine. We'll actually also bring Silas down here for extra support. But as for everyone else, they can actually come up here and defeat all these guys, these faceless. So that's what I think I'll be doing for a majority of this battle. Doesn't seem that bad considering that they're just faceless and they're kind of pretty, they're kind of easy to take out to begin with. So we shouldn't be having that much trouble, but all right, might as well just do the damage. I mean, three, three damage is not that bad. And we'll most likely be able to finish him off this uh, next turn. So that's perfectly fine. Tsubaki's gonna be doing his job, my boy. My boy. All right. And finally, let's actually have Azura sing for Kagero. And yeah, I actually switched the animation so that way they wouldn't really take so long. So now, now that Kagero's near this faceless, she's gonna be taking him out. Let's go. This is actually my first battle with Kagero, so she's really, really cool, by the way. She actually already has the ability Poison Strike, which is a very nice ability to have. And she actually just leveled up. Let's go. I grew more than I expected. Good shit. Yo, let's go, dude. All right. All right, only four damage, but I'm pretty sure she's going to be able to avoid this. Or not. Hello? Dude. All right, but he's done. There we go. Yeah, I I've been wanting to use Kagero for, I mean, ever since we got her, but... Last battle was just absolutely insane. Four damage again? Oh shit. Probably gonna have to have someone heal. Oh damn it. Our only healing unit is actually with Kashe, so that's gonna suck. Alright. Five damage. Damn. But 18 damage? Alright, Kashe. I see you. I see you, my friend. Alright, they're moving up. Oh, she's not she's not gonna move towards us? That sucks. All right, let's actually have Silas. All right, so he can do. All right, he can do 18 damage by itself. Maybe I should have. Ooh, I know what I could do. I know what I could do. All right, so Kashe is going to finish off this faceless right here, since he could definitely do his goddamn job. Let's go, Kashe. Dude, that's my boy. That's my boy. That's my character right there. And finally, Silas, you can actually do your damage with your steel sword, since that will do the most. Seems pretty good. Alright, one damage is not even anything to me. And finally, we will have Azura sing for Kashe, so that way he'll be able to actually take out this other faceless. And Azura levels up on her birthday! Let's go, so be it. I must work harder from now on. Yeah, she didn't really gain that much as for stats, but that's okay. She deserved much for her. She deserved much more for her birthday, but whatever. Can't really complain about this. All right. Yeah, now that Kashe is level 14, he doesn't really gain that much experience, but that's perfectly fine because I am gonna be promoting him pretty soon. Uh, once he actually gets up to level 20, I believe, or whatever. I don't know. Um, another thing, guys. I think I forgot to tell you guys, but recently I actually battled off screen and I actually raised up Rinka's weapon proficiency. So now she can actually wield an iron, not an iron club, yeah, an iron club, and also a throwing club, so she can actually attack from long range, so that will be pretty useful, um, hopefully in this fight as well. So we're gonna end the turn here, since there's not really much we can do. Really? Nothing else? Well, definitely, we need to, okay, we don't need to use a vulnerary just yet, maybe if we get attacked, uh, we'll probably use that soon. Alright, so... Wait, we can't actually go past there. What am I doing? Oh my god. What am I doing? Wait, who's over here? Alright, whatever. I don't even care. Silas, we can have you go over here and hopefully attack this guy with your javelin. Might as well do the extra damage since you are long range and he won't be able to do anything. There we go. Oh wow, only 7 HP left. Let's go, boys. Alright. Azura can't reach. That's, that's fine. As for everyone else, Subaki. So you can do 12, da uh, 12 damage, okay. Well, how about Kagero, my my girl? 
She'd do the job pretty well, but I don't really want that yet. The throwing club would only do 7 damage, plus it's only 73%. Damn. What? Damn, Rinka, come on. Shit, dude, she can't really do anything, can she? Alright, fine. Well, you know what? I might as well just do some damage to this guy, so that way he's at least weakened. And, I don't know, will that actually... 9 HP. Will Rinka be able to finish off the job? I don't think she will. Which is a bummer. She can't actually do anything? Only 7... Only 7 damage. What? Oh, that's bullshit. Okay. I have a plan. I have a plan. Hold on. Alright, so stay here. And Rinka, maybe... There we go. There we go, Rinka. The teamwork with Kagero. Let's do this. Alright. And Kagero finished off the job. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Dude, the hype. Alright. Obviously, he's going to be attacking Silas, but he's only doing one damage, so we're not, we're not in a bad spot right now. Do your goddamn job, Silas. You got this. I feel really bad, though, from the last fight that we let Silas die because of a stupid mistake I made. But we're not letting that happen anymore, because that's just bullshit. Alright, Azura. Uh, Azura. We're going to have you sing for Kashe. See, I should do this more often. I should have Azura by herself, so that way she can actually just help out our units more. But then again, I don't want her being by, like totally by herself, considering that she doesn't have that much HP. And, you know, she could possibly could possibly be in danger, but we don't, have, we don't um, have too much to worry about. I'm sorry, guys, I can't speak today. Like, damn. Damn, son. All right, Silas, you go right here. And, all right, that's it. No one's attacking, huh? No one is attacking. Well, that's fine. So how much can... So if we do stuff with the javelin, we'll do the job quite well. Alright. And finally... Damn, okay. So we can't reach anyone at the moment. Ah, oh, damn, we can't reach anyone else. Oh well. Okay. Azura, we'll have you close by, so that way you'll be able to hopefully do something in the future. So we can't go in here, because that's not really an open village. Oh, the boss is right here. Oh my god, yo. Wait, what's the objective again? Route the enemy? Alright, that's just pretty much the same thing as usual. I'm kind of waiting for that one fight to where we can actually just have to uh, defeat the boss, and then we'll be able to finally end the chapter, because I wish that was a thing beforehand, but nope. Yeah, she lost quite a bit of HP. We should have brought another healer with us, but I guess not. Does anyone else have a vulnerary? Damn, she doesn't. Crap. Well, I'm just curious. How much can she do? This Faceless has a lot of HP. Damn. Alright, then Tsubaki? Only 12 damage. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Um, Just stay here and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. 5 damage again? Oh, jeez. Oh, he missed. Good job. All right. Man, I was hoping Kashe would get a crit, considering that he had, like, 5%. Damn. Everyone wants to help. I mean, not everyone help. help. Everyone wants to attack Kashe. What in the world? What's the deal with this right now? This is kind of disgusting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, Sakura's pulling through. Sakura's pulling through. That's good to know. But damn, these guys are relentless. Holy shit. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Alright. Well, I definitely know what we need to do. Because Jesus Christ, dude. We need to finish off the job. Alright. Wow, just enough to actually kill this guy. So we're going to have Felicia do this. Considering that I want her to gain some experience. Alright. Please level up. Wait, what was I expecting? I, I didn't expect that that much. Alright. Oh, man, if only she was a little bit closer to us. Alright. Well, anyone else in our range or anything? Nope. Alright, so... What's her name? Mazu. She's actually right there, so we'll probably be able to... talk to her in the next turn. Hopefully. 
I'm not expecting too much. Kashay's just slicing up everyone, which is good. Alright then. And Azura, you should actually sink for Kashe. So that way he can get a little bit more range in talking to Mazu, but anyone else no one's else no one else is gonna move, so let's actually just go down here and see what happens. I'm just kinda looking for a reaction right now. Eventually, I want our healers to reunite with these guys, considering that they're actually kind of low at health at the moment. Zero damage. Alright, so we're going to do nine damage with Rinka, which is not bad. Alright, but here we go. Ooh, Subaki! Yo, Subaki, I see you. I see you, friends. Ooh! Oh, God. Aw, oh, man, only nine. Well, that was good. That was good, definitely. Damn, really? Subaki, again, has a 5% crit rate. I mean, crit chance. Okay. Okay, never mind. I expected way too much. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. But damn, I really wish that crit could have killed. Alright, let's actually go back up here and... Let's have Rinka get that nice and fresh experience. Speed this up. And you're gone, friend. Level up? Ah, so close. So close. Um... Alright. Let's go, Kagura. So you just kill him. I just started right there. I was like, kick, kick, kill. All right, Rinka leveled up. That's important. Level 10, finally. Wow. You might get burned if you get too close. Should I actually... No, I was thinking of maybe promoting her soon. Like, really, really soon. But maybe that wouldn't be the best choice. All right, so we're going to heal Kashe Up to the full HP. And she's actually very close to a level up. All right. Now that we can actually talk to Mazu finally, let's go ahead and do that. Are you okay? Whoa! No! My mother! My friends! Here I'm here to help. Where are they? My mother wouldn't take my hand. She's... She's... I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. But there's no time to grieve. Not now. Stay behind me. I'll keep you safe. No, I have to fight. For mother. For all my friends. For everything those monsters took from me. Oh, well, she's feisty. Alright, well, Mazu is now actually a part of our team. And she cannot do anything, can she? Well, in that case, let's actually pair her up with Azura, so that way she's out of harm, um, harm's way. And, uh... Okay. So we're gonna have, I guess, um, Azura sing for her, so that way she can pair up with her as soon as possible. And... Alright, what else is on the agenda? Should we have Rinka pair up with Tsubaki? Oh wait, we can't, because we already used her. 12 damage again. Alright, might as well just end the turn, considering that he's coming to us anyway. 3 damage again, alright, this is not good. But 9 damage, let's go. Okay, I'll take it. 12 HP left. What can we do with that? Another face is attacking us. Wow, a lot of these faces have a pretty open chance to us, like, they have more than 50% on us. Which is not exactly the best, but... Alright. Alright, so 18 damage again. Let's just chop him up real quick. Should I actually turn into my dragon form? Maybe that'll be a little bit better than having my regular form. Alright, so I'm gonna sing for Kashe once more. So that way... Yeah, this is actually good. Azura's getting a lot of experience now. Alright, so we're actually gonna switch weapons. We're gonna equip the dragon stone and see what happens now. Because I'm actually pretty curious if will get hit now because five damage although it doesn't seem as much for one turn it still is a lot considering that damn it all right Subaki, you do it all right here we go oh he's still gonna hit me he's still gonna hit me damn all right we need to heal up we need to probably heal up or something with uh Tsubaki because he cannot keep on getting this damage Holy crap. Wait. Nope, that's not gonna help. Alright, as soon as possible, we need to get some healing in here. Like, goddamn, bro. This is not looking good for us, the way we're going. But, you know, not that bad. So, let's end the turn, because we can't really do much now. Look at that, zero damage. See, look at this. I have my plan right now. We are good. So, we're probably gonna stay in this dragon form for now. For, uh, from now on, so... Alright, well, at least 
at least we're still getting around the same amount of damage. Yeah, look at this. Zero damage. Get out of here. Dude, just get out of my house. Get out of my house. This is my territory. 18 damage. Holy crap, dude. That's awesome. All right, we got two niggas in here who's really willing to get chopped up. Fuck. Can you do the same afar? All right, Silas will have to do it then. All right, Silas, I see you. 75%? I should have attacked with a different weapon, so that way we could do more. But I just forgot. And Silas gets a level up. Let's go, dude. All right. I suppose this shall suffice for now. Yeah, he didn't get that many stats, but that's fine, I guess. And let's sing again. Oh, so close to that level up, though. And we will have... Yeah, just go with the brass Naginata. I like the way that weapon's called, you know, the Naginata. Man, I'm actually pretty curious to see what kind of weapons Nor has. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what they are, considering that we've played Fire Emblem Awakening and stuff, and, you know, the weapons are kind of more modern than these ones on the uh, Hoshiden side. But still, pretty curious to see what exactly we'll find as for weapons. Okay. Well, it seems that we have... Let's actually pair up Tsubaki with Kagero, or the other way around. We're still going to do 12 damage, even with the pair up. Um, I'm not really willing to take the chance right now. Can we actually go in here? No. Alright, then just stay there. Renka, you might want to get out of there, considering that the boss will probably take you out soon. And we don't really want that. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Azura, I put her in a really bad spot. That was my bad. But she is going to kill him. Okay. All right. Good job, Azura. And she gets the experience. Let's do this. Well, obviously, she gets the experience, but you guys know what I mean. I'm so happy I could sing, but I won't. Again, I still don't know what that means. I still do not know what that means, but that's fine. All right. We might as well just have, uh, what is it? Azura get healed by Felicia, so that way Felicia can get some experience and level up as well, because that's just everything that's happening right now. Everyone's getting a level up today. Does this please you? Sure, I guess. Alright, this faceless still remains. Rinka, are you close? No, you're not. Alright, let's attack from afar, switch it up, and we'll be able to do exactly 21 damage, or 22 damage, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 22. Alright, you're dead. Get murked, bro. It's just a prank, bro. Just a prank. It's a prank, bro. Alright. Let's have Rinka come back up here. There wasn't really no point of having uh, Rinka just come down with us, because now we're all kind of reunited, and there's only one enemy left, so that's good. Let's just have everyone come up ba uh, back up here. Wait. Hold on. Felicia, you guys need to catch up big time. Alright, and Azura, sing for her. So that way she can heal Kagero. Because she needs some of that healing as well. Alright. Heal her. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be buying some more healing items. So that way, you know, we don't have to worry about anyone not getting their... Ju no, I was re rejuvenation. I was going to say that. Alright. Let's have Kashe go up here now. Along with everyone else. Because, you know, that, that works. Wait, no, no. Up there. Alright. And finally... We're going to switch, since everyone's good at this point, along with Rinka. Wait, that's it? No, that's not it. Uh, we got to wait for Azura right now. Hello? No one's moving still? All right, well, in that case, let's do 12 damage. Okay, let's take it. Let's do this. Okay, this man is pretty damn feisty. I mean, clearly. Oh, shit, we did 6 damage? No, we did four damage, but still, that's pretty damn good. Now, what can we do now? Nope, Brinka can't do shit. Whatever. Throwing club can't do anything either. Oh my lord, dude. Have mercy. Man, okay. Well then, maybe I should have Tsubaki go for the kill instead. Alright, so Javelin will do 12, so that's good. Alright, so he'll have one HP left. Which is, uh, pretty good. Let's do this. Alright. Azura, are you anywhere? No, you already used your turn. 
All right, Subaki, you go ahead and finish off this faceless since, you know. What? Only s Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, what am I talking about? That's, like, that's more than enough, but still, what the hell? Only three damage? That's fine. We're done. We're done with this fight right now. There we go. And Tsubaki levels up to level eight. Wow, look at that. Look at them stats. Ah, the glory of physical fitness. My boys. And the chapter is complete. Alright, that was a pretty tragic start, though. Or, like, a, just a tragic chapter, because, you know, poor Mazu with her parents dying. Alright, we finished off the last of the Faceless. Um, but what do I do now? They took my mother. My life. You must have some family near here. We'll be glad to take you there. There's no one. I couldn't even start over here by myself. All the homes, fields, it's all destroyed, but I wouldn't want to stay here if, if, even if I wasn't. Even if it wasn't. Everyone I called family is dead. Every house, a grave. Listen, we'll take you in. We can't replace all you've lost, but we'll take care of you. I can join your group? Yes, but only until we can find you a, sa a safe place to call home. Call home. Our group, a family of sorts, is bound by a dangerous cause. We go from one battle to the next, ever in peril. There's no life for you. That's not life for you. I'm afraid not. I I'm Okay, no, I'm not afraid. <laughs> I can help. I might even save your... You or your friends. Let me join your cause, whatever it is. I'll keep your family yes. alive. Yes, of course. I have to admit, you sound like one of us already. And I'll stay safe after all. My mother's watching me over now. Watching over me now. Ah, oh, man, that's... That really does suck, man. Considering that all of her family is now gone and out of her lives, and she has nothing else to go to. Definitely sucks, but we actually got ourselves a new unit, which is Mazu. So where exactly is she? She is right over here. So, I don't know if I'm going to be using Mazu anytime soon, but hopefully, I don't know, eventually, maybe I'll use her. Because maybe I can actually turn her into a new class if I eventually get her up to that. But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to end off this video as we have finished with the paralogue. And next time, we are going to be finally going back to Noor, as I know I kind of delayed this. Um, for a while now, but now we're gonna be going back to Noor, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty uh, craziness. Pretty craziness? Pretty crazy, that's what I mean. But thank you all so much for watching this episode of Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. If you all did enjoy it and want to keep on seeing more, definitely leave your uh, support in the comments below, and also smash that like button for me, as it always helps me out a ton, and uh, just means a lot to me, guys. But anyway, thank you all again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace, Marquezies. Stay awesome.